Dragster tyres run incredibly low pressures in order to get the best traction off the line. Today we're going to see if that translates into road cars. This is our Mazda Mule and we're going to take its tyre pressures from the high range to the low range to see which performs the best. So first of all we need to do a benchmark quarter mile with the standard pressure in these rear tyres on the Mazda. So we're going to set them to 30 psi which is what the manufacturer recommends. Okay so high rpm and go. A little bit of wheel spin, nothing too major. Up into third gear. Come on, little master. And there's the eighth of the mile. 10.61, and the start wasn't too bad. A little bit of wheel spin, but, but pretty good. I've got a good feel for that. Maximum pressure, 51 PSI. We can go loads higher than that. Loads higher, how much higher? Well, you're the engineering student. I would, I would say 60, because these will be for the road, right? You don't want to go above 50. I doubt it will blow at that point. They're going to have some margin. But in the racing cars, we've used tyres like this and we've gone like really, really high before, especially if they get too hot when the air expands. Yeah. So I'll give my dad a call, see what he says. Yeah. I reckon he's going to say send it. <laughs> 70. You right, Scott? Yeah, we're filming a video at the airstrip today and we're trying to see how much tyre pressure affects uh, like a standing start. We've got these Kumos on the Mazda. What do you think the maximum pressure we could put in them before they, well, explode? <laughs> I know some of the, some road tyre fitter friends, and I know they've they've run them up to 100 psi to get them on the 100. beam. <laughs> okay. So they're not so, going to explode on me at 100. Well, that's to get the tyre on the beam. That's not to drive it up an airstrip. <laughs> so I think you'd be all right at 70. All, all right, right. Well, as long as that's a word from Dad, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got plenty of runoff. Got a cage. I got my belt. We'll be okay. When you put all of this pressure in, the tyre actually expands so much that it starts to balloon. So that means there'll actually be less tyre on the track itself, on the surface itself, and so therefore it won't have as much grip. Five hours later. <laughs> So now with 70 PSI in these tyres, I think we're going to be at a disadvantage because one of the reasons that the Dragster tyres are so soft running such low PSI is that when you have that initial kick of traction with the soft pressure in the tyre, the tyre actually gets compressed underneath the rim. This in turn transfers more weight onto the back of the car, pushing those tyres harder into the track and therefore giving it more traction. Because we've got so much pressure in the tyres, now we're not going to get that retardation, we're not going to get that compression and so we won't have quite as much traction. More wheel spin but it wasn't too bad, it was quite a good start actually. So that is exactly the same time, I think. Let me just check. It's actually a bit quicker than I did it with 32 PSI. I'm not going to get a better start than that. I can feel that it's really good. So that's really interesting. What do you think we should go down to? We're at 70 now. We need to make a good chunk, I think. I think 50. I see this making a big difference to the size of the contact patch. So we'll, we'll see what that does in terms of grip off the start. You might need to give it more to get a good launch. We're actually off the chart. Do you want to come and get this? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> too much pressure. We're off the chart. Oh God. So much to let out. Come on. <laughs> what do you reckon, faster or slower? I think half a second faster. Is that too much? I reckon you can do that. You know, it's it's the time, but it's also like the feel that I'll have. Like it, it'll make me understand if it has actually given it more traction. You can really feel that instant bite. So let's see what it does. <laughs> Okay, marginally quicker, 10.01. Oh, it looks great. It looks like you had a good level of wheel spin there. One of the really clever things with the dragster tyres, when you see them crinkle up because they run such low pressure, it actually changes the gear ratio of the dragster itself. So as it crinkles up, the circumference of the tyre gets smaller, which means that the dragster can accelerate quicker. And then as the dragster gets quicker, the tyre expands, therefore changing the gear ratio. It's absolutely genius. Let's bring it down to 20, which is getting into like the realms of what we would run in a race car, like Formula One minimum pressures are what, 21 PSI? And so there's gonna be more deformation 
um, the tire is going to mold itself to the track a little bit earlier so there should be more traction around 20 we're getting towards towards peak we're getting to optimum for a tire like this i would say because i'm not sure whether like those dragster pressures whether that's for like a just a dragster tire and there's so much tire I mean. to like sink down and spring back whereas here you you've got not very much sidewall here. And the sidewalls are much stiffer in road car tires. Do you not remember Adam's Corsa with the really low profile tires? Like, I don't think it needs to be a massive dragster tire with a massive sidewall. No. It seems like it would make a difference even on that. Otherwise, he wouldn't run low pressure. I can actually see the profile of the tire like changing now as we're bringing it down to 20. Yeah. So you'd never run this low pressure, would oh, you, on the road? Yeah. So we've got a couple of things happening. More weight going over the rear, more squatting happening when I do the initial launch. Look at this bulge here. Like, so this one is a, it's got no pressure on it. So this is what it would have been like when it was overinflated. You've got a fair bit of sidewall. It's not coming out too far. Whereas down here, you've got much fatter sidewall as, as the car's sat down. And this distance here, as well as this distance sideways, will be marginally bigger. <laughs> less wheel spin. 10.06. Probably bogged down a little bit. I reckon this can do sub 10 with this pressure in the tyres. <laughs> There we go, that was a bit quicker, 9.96, half a tenth quicker. So it's like the gains are there, but they are getting smaller and smaller. Should we go right down with the pressure now then? We are going into the unknown. So let me give Adam with his drag car a call, see what he says and then we can go from there. Hi, Scott. I'm calling up for a bit of advice. Okie dokie, how can I help you pal? So we're doing this, well, bit of a silly test really to see what the best tyre pressures are for like a standing start? Tyre pressures and drag racing is a bit of a dark art. There's no right way and wrong way. It's all about trial and error. I normally start on road legal tyres, like semi-slicks. I'll start at around 20 to 15 PSI. So you're coming into the realm where you need to be. Okay, what's the lowest that you've ever been down to? The tyre pressure going lower would more come down to have you got enough power to spin the tyre? Well, I, I can yeah. tell you for sure I'm not in a high-end dragster. We're in a Mazda <laughs> MX-5, so it might be the oh, power that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's 10. They feel wallowy. Wallowy, to oh. say the least. <laughs> okay. The weight transfer on that's going to be mental. Anything for a good eighth of a mile. If you, uh, if you hear the rims scraping on the ground, please let me know before I get to 100 miles an hour. Okay, so that is the quickest time that we've done, a 9.94, but only marginally quicker. Let's drop it down to five and see if that does anything drastic. Oh, jeez. Oh, when you're driving along and you turn, you can feel the thing just like turning over and rolling over. Anyway, it's gonna be incredible to see what it feels like at five PSI. I don't think we can go much more, otherwise it'll come off the bead. Interestingly, it's gone, it's gone up to 12. So the heat in the tire yeah. and the sidewall. So what happens is when they're soft like this, every time this piece of tire comes around to the bottom, it's compressing. And so you get loads and loads of heat in the tire because it's going through deformation at the bottom. <laughs> this feels dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> My poor rims. We're 100% going to have a much, much wider contact patch. This is crazy. Should we give it the bounce check? Go on then. Oh, <laughs> I'm no pain. So what do we think the potential dangers are here, Callum? There's a decent chance that the tyre will spin on the rim. Okay, faster or slower? I'm going to say slower. Me too, I think. I hope it proves us wrong, though. <laughs> And then as I was moving along, I don't know if I hit some wind, but the rear of the car just started swaying across. Interestingly, 10.1. <laughs> so it doesn't seem like the tire pressures make any difference whatsoever, really. Oh, I mean, I've driven some dangerous racing cars, but this little Mazda, I feel the most nervous. <laughs>
You're not supposed to laugh. You're running mostly on the side wall, actually. It's warm. Okay, that's fine. Cup of tea warm. Mate. Feel <laughs> cup of tea warm. What, like it's just come out of the kettle? Yeah. <laughs> You'll be fine, mate. Carry on. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Exactly the same. I don't think it's going to go any quicker. I uh, I think it's probably it's slower because it's just like it's chattering off the start, so it's it's just not able to get away. So at the end, five psi was slower, uh, and it seems that twenty psi, maybe fifteen, somewhere around there, would be the ideal pressure to get the perfect eighth of a mile run. Ball Science is a new series of content for us on the Driven channel. So if you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have some interesting ideas for tests that we can complete, please let us know in the comments below.